Well guys, the renovation here is going pretty good. I think most of the siding's on the house now. Except they kind of goofed that up, I see. Yeah. Have a look down here, the windows are in. It's freaking muddy like everywhere, but yeah, springtime. Yeah, she's uh, look at a mess. But anyways, I'm missing a bit of the uh, siding up there. Got to finish that up, I guess. But uh, everything else is in, I'm ready for the lights and plumbing's all in. They're all plumbed up nice. Bit of a drop out of the garage there, but uh, you know, I don't think I can get in those doors or the ladders there. But we'll go around this way. Starting to sink here a bit and crack and open, I see. We're just going to do the uh, insulation and the ceiling. So we're just bringing in the trailer and uh, bundles insulation and all that cool stuff. There's the front and the garage. No garage doors yet. She's looking good. Side's all done nice. So we got all these bundles insulation. I think there's 32 of them. There's a bunch piled there. That's the machine. I had a cat. And uh, what you do is try to score it along this line, break it in half, and stuff it in the machine. How do you guys read that? So you cut it there, just stuff the one side in the machine, and it sucks. It's supposed to suck it in. And it's got a cutter thing here too that'll cut the bag open. You whip the bag out before it gets sucked in. And it goes all around these paddles. Beats it all up and fluffs it all up. And I guess it sucks it in the bottom. There's a big fan. Blows out the hose. All the way up to your, to your attic. So that's how that works. Let's see if I can find the hose here. So this stuff's yeah, all made just for that machine, eh? So, I don't know where he's put the hose, but oh, I think he took it inside. There's a big, huge 100-foot coil of hose, too, that comes with it, so. Yeah, we're going to be doing this tomorrow, so. Turn that upside down, you can just read that better. So, uh, yeah. Should be neat. I'll, hopefully I can get a bit of footage of the sucking and chewing in there. So, we got one bundle ripped apart here, and we got the two-way communication going here, and... We're gonna get ready and stuff one in there, and he's got a, I think a remote control up on the other end of the hose. We got looped all around, way inside, and then up the hole there. Uh, so he's gonna try to the on and off switch there, but uh, it's got to be remote control because the wire, there's no wire in this hose, and there's a spot in the hose that it was cut, I guess, and they put a coupler in it. So I mean, there's no connections there. So we'll see. We'll see. Hmm. Some clickety clicks, but nothing turning on. Give him a call here. Yeah, Breaker 19, what's the situation there, buddy? Well, I'm pressing the button, but nothing seems to be happening. Did you want me to press contact here? I can hear it clicking if you're pushing up there, but nothing's turning on. What's that? You can hear something clicking down there? Yeah, I'll uh, leave the radio beside here. If you push your button, you might hear it going click, 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 click. No go. Oh, you try turning it off from your end. See if I can shut it off from up here. Roger that. We're hitting the start button. Be prepared. We figured out what was wrong. Um, their little remote control on the, the hose, he's gone way up to the far end there, so you know, it's 
quite a piece back, so we're thinking, uh, Batteries in the remote control might be a bit weak or something. Okay, well, there's the first one going in, and you can see her. I guess you have to jump in there and give her a tape measure, eh? Just gonna mark off with the electrical tape a couple spots here. 